I'm Linda Rank and I'm a physician assistant that specializes in dermatology. I've been practicing medicine for about 14 years and I'm the co-owner of Medics Dermatology and Skin Care Center. Well, I've been a Derm PA for 14 years and um, my husband's a physician and we just have always dreamed of having a business together and for years of working with some great physicians and practices, I just one day just thought, why don't we do this together? Let's create a medical practice that is a little different, a little bit more personable. Um, and it was something that I think I was just looking ready for a challenge in my life. I have always been a kind of person that just doesn't stop and likes to keep busy and be challenged. And this has definitely been the biggest challenge of my life, I think, next to being a mother. Um, so. Medix has been open for about three and a half years now. If feels like it went by really fast. <laughs> Still feels like the beginning, um, but it feels great. It feels good that I'm here and um, it's good. You know, for years, my husband and I have talked about doing something medical together since we're both in the medical field. Um, but with young children and relocating back to Southern California, the time didn't become right until about five, six years ago. Um, so about that time. Um, well, so I'm originally from San Fernando Valley, and I moved to South Orange County in the early 90s. Um, went to school, met my husband, and we moved to Missouri for about a year because he was in the Air Force. Um, and from there, we ended up in Las Vegas um, because of the Air Force again, and we were there for five years. And when our time was up in the military, he says, where do you want to move? And I said, definitely Orange County. <laughs> well, and he loves the ocean. He surfs, so it was perfect for both of us. Um, we both met in school. We were, um, he was a resident at Martin Luther King Hospital and I was a PA student and um, we met through a friend in the emergency room. Yeah. <laughs> years, ugh, about four or five years later. Yeah. And you had been done with school for like? About four years, okay. four or five years, yeah. <laughs> and um, the plan was always, you know, graduate, work a few years, have some kids and then the plan at first was just try to enjoy life and be married and travel a little bit and save up money um, and just have adventures, which we did moving to Missouri and then Nevada. Um, and I think we both are always very interested in business, so it would always be a topic of conversation. I'm not sure if it was in the plans, but it just one day I just decided, let's do it. And we did. <laughs> well. It's a lot of work. Um, it's a commitment, and I feel I feel energized by it. It's something new, and it's a challenge. Um, so I get up because I have a very long list to, of to do. <laughs> <laughs> so that sense of accomplishment is, is sense of accomplishment, and just learning. I learn things every day. Being a new business owner, um, I don't know when you can stop saying new business owner because three and a half years in. I have so much to learn and I look forward and get excited to speak with other business owners to find out what they're doing, especially in this new world of social media. I, I, there's a world ahead of me that I have to learn and explore. And um, so yeah, it's, it's never ending in a great way though. The time commitment and the stress, not realizing that you can turn it off, I haven't really been very good at turning off my brain on thinking of improving how I can better. Um, I, I'm constantly aware of how I could be a better employer. Um, I'm very sensitive to making um, patients and staff feel like they're almost at home, like a guest in my home. Um, the laws, just knowing, um, you know, I'm in a medical field, so not only do I have the laws of human resources and regulations with that, which is completely brand new to me. Um, but now I'm also in the medical field and we are electronical. So now I have to think about how do I keep up with technology and then maintain HIPAA regulations. Um, so these are challenges that I didn't think about before. <laughs> um, and I think too, you know, I've, I've worked for a handful of very successful practices where Patients were just there on my schedule and it was very e easy to grow patient load. But now I have to bring those people into our office. And I didn't realize that that takes years, that takes time, that gets 
that is something you have to maintain and work. And um, so I, I don't think I was prepared for that as much. Um, but at the same time, it's very gratifying where you meet a new patient and then a few weeks later, they refer their friend, their family, and then you think, okay, we're on to something, we're doing something, we're giving good care. Well, so we have a, a multi-level practice. Um, we have cosmetics, we have medical, and we've recently integrated medical research. Um, but the, thing, the patient that stands out in my mind the most is the patient that I had close to my age came in and she had excoriations all over her face. She was miserable, she was itchy. Um, she didn't look well and she came in very emotional saying this is the fourth office she had been in. She needed help and she'd been referred to psychiatry. Her, patient, her family had almost written her off thinking she was using drugs or needed you know, psych psychological help. And I just, taking the time and talking to her and, and listening to my gut, which I find is a big part of my job in medicine, is I really felt she was sincere and was really looking for help. And um, we ended up doing work, lab, lab work on her, and found out that she had lupus, which explained all the spots on her face and her itching and all the crazy symptoms because she had an autoimmune disease. Um, and she was extremely thankful. I ended up referring her out to specialists. Um, but it changed her life and it changed her relationship with her family and and now I have a lifelong friend in a sense You lead a really great team. Thank you. Know, you. Your staff over there is is Excellent. Thank uh, you very much. Every time I go in welcomed very warmly um, They're so friendly. They really they really emulate you You know in, uh, in what they do. So tell me how do you lead such a great team? Well, first of all, thank you because that really means a lot um, I honestly feel like that comes very easy if you just treat everyone with respect and you have heart in everything you do and you know that's just my approach that's my approach that's Chris's approach with um, our staff and they really feel like we're a small family and I, I, I get great joy to hear that they're hanging out on Friday nights on the weekends they have a game night almost every other week you know I think that's great well nothing's perfect um, it, it's a lot of scheduling, um, and I couldn't do it without my, my grand, the grandparents, my in-laws, and with a very supportive husband. Um, since we're in the business together, we both really understand the hard work and the tension, and, um, you know, it's, it's work every, every day. Um, I don't know how we do it sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I think we're a little crazy, um, but it's great and it keeps us going and sometimes life can get just kind of you know the same routine and the business definitely prevents that from happening so um, we make it happen yeah. um well i'll still be here in ladera um, ladera ranch is our home so we'll definitely be here as medics dermatology hopefully just keeping up with the latest new um, treatments in aesthetics new lasers I'm hoping to bring in more cosmetic procedures, possibly expanding the brand, um, and just hopefully ex exhaling a little bit. <laughs> Maybe having a little bit more time off. Yeah. But I'm not sure about that. <laughs> well, I like to say we're like a mom and pop medical practice, and um, I'm hoping that every patient that walks in gets that warm feeling that it's a comfortable place. Um, I think what makes us different is we're a medical practice, but we're also in a cosmetic practice. And nowadays we're seeing so many medi spas where you don't really have an expert in medicine to be able to help you if there is an issue. Um, but another added benefit that we're recently starting is we do medical research now. And we're expanding in that and we're hoping to expand in research and cosmetics. And I think that's a huge benefit for our patients.